Welcome beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family. Luis Enrique, the savior of Paris Saint-Germain. Obviously last season when he came in, it was pretty much the worst season under the QSI era at Paris Saint-Germain. And losses in the entirety of last season, which is only eclipsed by one season, the 22-23 season with 13 defeats. But those 13 defeats were the entirety of the season, whereas the 10 defeats only came in 2023 because we were unbeaten in the entirety of the six-month period. So Luis Enrique inherited a squad that lost 10 games in barely 30 games. Also inherited a squad that lost two games in a row in the Champions League without scoring a goal against FC Bayern München, which is the first time since 2015 when we faced Real Madrid twice consecutively in the Champions League group stage. A lot of key important players missed as well. Marco Verratti left, Sergio Ramos left, Lionel Messi left, Juan Bernat left, and Neymar Jr. left. And all of these players were at least top 10, top 12 when it comes to minutes played for PSG last season. So he lost experience, he lost leadership in this team, and he had to recover from all of that. And obviously Luis Enrique came in and so far it's been a miracle. It's been a paradise Paris Saint-Germain fans have been enjoying so far this season. When it comes to Ligue 1, we obviously top every single stat metric in the entirety of the league. And I mean, that is not that hard. With the budget that we have compared to the other teams, it's much easier for us to compete and, you know, win all the games, have the best goals, assists, goal-creating actions, everything, all of that when it comes to Ligue 1. But the surprising thing is, and how shocked a lot of people would be when they hear this, is the stats that we dominate, or at least are, in the top three when it comes to the Champions League. XG, non-penalty XG, XAG, non-penalty XG, plus XAG. Progress Progressive carries, carries, progressive passes, progressive passes received, passes into the penalty area, and key passes. Luis Enrique has made Paris Saint-Germain into a dominant side, not just in Ligue 1, but also in the Champions League. Paris Saint-Germain have also not lost a single game since that 2-1 defeat to AC Milan back in November. That is 25 games on beaten streak, which also means that we've only lost 3 games in the entirety of the season, which is the lowest since the 15-16 season, and is only eclipsed by the 13-14 season in this time period period in March the 20th. And that's why Paris Saint-Germain are currently aiming for the quadruple. We are in the Coupe de France semi-final for the first time in three years. We are in the Champions League quarterfinals for the first time in two years. Ligue 1 has never been easier with Paris Saint-Germain having a 12-point cushion and the Trophy du Champion has already been collected. And with the upcoming game versus Marseille being a big one, I mean it's a rivalry and everything, but Luis Enrique can actually break two important stats and records for Paris Saint-Germain in that game. 16 matches without defeat since the start of 2024 for the Paris Saint-Germain, which equals its 1994 record. Record to beat against Olympique de Marseille during the Classique. Facing Marseille after the break, PSG can e equal Lyon's record of 21 consecutive away games without defeat in Ligue 1, dating from 2005-2006. The main thing I think why Luis Enrique is such a great manager for Paris Saint-Germain is that he's a complete tactician. Paris Saint-Germain have moved from three different lineups, different formations, and player profiles. In the beginning of the season we played with the 4-2-4 with Colomani up top, Vitinha on the left, Skriniar at the back, Ugarte in the middle. Then it changed to a 4-3-3 with Fabian in the middle, Varcola becoming a starter and playing the win, Danilo Pereira coming back into the starting lineup. And obviously most recently we're playing Dembele centrally, Kangili started to become a starter, obviously Nuno Mendes just returned from injury, but also Lucas Hernandez is starting to play as a centre-back and Lucas Beraldo has adapted and immediately come into the starting centre-back partnership, which shows that Luis Enrique will change the team, will adapt the team, no matter their profiles, no matter the money, and obviously this also means benching four of the most expensive signings in Paris Saint-Germain history, including Gonzalo Ramos, Randal Colomani, Manuel Ugarte. Obviously, we received Milan Skriniar for free, but he's still a world-class top player. But he's been benching all of these guys this season who have an accumulated price of 200 million euros. When it comes to his relationship with Nasser Khalifi and Luis Campos, when it comes to the transfer, it's been a bit weird. When it came to the summer transfer window, we had a list of mid-signings, including Randal Colomani, Manuel Ugarte, Skriniar, Asensio, Gonzalo, and Dor. But then we had the good signings of Osman Dembele, Bradley Barcola, Lucas Hernandez, and Kangi Lee. But this January proved that their relationship is just getting better with time. And you know, it's hard to sign the best and correct players in a summer transfer window when Campos and Lucha have barely had one, two months to talk with each other. The January window, obviously, we saw Lucas Beraldo and Gabriel Moscardo signed to Parisian club, and both of them 
I mean, Mostardo still hasn't played the minute, but Beraldo so far has looked like a perfect signing and a signing approved both by Luis Enrique and Luis Campos, which I love to see. We talked about Lucho taking our players from the starting lineup, but that also means he's been improving the players in the starting lineup. Donnarumma, Ashraf Hakimi, Warren Zaire Emery, Vitinha, Fabian Ruiz, and Kylian Mbappé are just some of the players that Luis Enrique, they've had their best season under so far this season. And we're going to look a bit deeply into Donnarumma, Vitinha, Hakimi, and Mbappé. If you look at Hakimi's stats here his stats are much better from his two pass stints at Paris Saint-Germain in goals assists shot creating actions goal creating actions recoveries touches and carries into the final third same story goes for Gianluigi Donnarumma who has been performing as the best goalkeeper in the world who shot against goals against save save percentage clean sheet PSG XC shot and passing percentage Vitinha as well as having a superb season so far much better than the season prior under Christophe Galtier when it comes to Kylian Mbappé a lot of stats are you know a bit down but that is because he's made this entire team around Kylian Mbappe and his goal scoring ability a lot of people say we can't score about Mbappe and none of that yes that's because the team is built around Kylian Mbappe getting all the goals for us and he's scoring a goal at every 1.17 goals per game which is the highest he's ever had in his career apart from the 18-19 season which just shows that Luis Enrique is getting the best out of every single player at Paris Saint-Germain some of the players are just not good enough to be in the Luis Enrique system the thing I want to end on is how Luis Enrique has finally made Paris Saint-Germain and his players into a team we're finally a bit collective last season we had the South American gang the, the French gang the gang 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 we don't have that this season this season is collective Lucho is the leader and he is the ultimate boss leader ever since Mbappe made the decision to leave Paris Saint-Germain and I absolutely love this the manager should be the leader the manager should be the boss he should be making all the decisions he wants without consoling with any players like Galtier and Pochettino did prior to him and we finally look like a serious team and that is why the Champions League is closer than he has ever been Luis Enrique if he manages to beat Barca and Atletico Madrid Madrid, which is very favorable in Paris Saint-Germain's hands, he will reach the Champions League final, something this club has only done once prior to his arrival. Luis Enrique, merci and good luck for the rest of the season and for the rest of the upcoming seasons you will be here at the club. We all love you Luis Enrique and keep on working. Allez, allez, allez Paris.